Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that I haven't quite done one like this, but basically my camera battery needed to charge and I was scrolling through YouTube and I found a video by LS and she basically was doing like a will I buy it, but she was going through what was new at Sephora and she said, hey, this isn't like a recommendations video, this is just me telling you about whether I'm gonna buy some new things on Sephora.com or not. And I was kind of inspired because the Sephora sale is on right now and there is another weekend coming up for VIB members. And so I thought it would be kind of fun to do the same thing. I am gonna throw in recommendations because some of the products on here I have tried and I wanna let you guys know if they're worth the money or not, especially with the sale if you wanna pick some of these things up. I would totally recommend and my like pets are in here so if you hear any random meows or grunts or barks it's because one of the dogs or one of the cats decided to speak up as well. Anyway, I'm not going to keep blabbering. Thank you Elle for the idea and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I am not going to do a recommendations video for the Sephora sale and I don't know, I just feel like there's not enough time anyway. Plus, I have a really hard time committing to like being like, oh, I swear by this, you need to buy it. But there are a lot of products I do recommend. I have a little um, highlight on my Instagram stories if you guys want to see that. But I'm going to pretty much talk about all of that stuff that's on there in this video. So hopefully you guys will have a solid idea of everything after this video is done. So let's get into it. Now, um, I just went to the Just Arrives page on the app. Just like Elle did, now I'm on the Sephora US app. She was on the Canadian app, so of course we're gonna be talking about some different things. So the first thing I see on here is the NARS Orgasm Infatuation Palette. Now I really want to buy this mostly because of the packaging. I already have the Trist palette here. I bought this before the sale and I'm sure it'll come up in here, but packaging is gorgeous, so I'm like dying to buy more of them. But the reason I'm not buying this is because of the shades in here. So it comes with the Laguna Bronzer, which is not really my shade. I like to wear the Casino Bronzer. The Orgasm Blush, which I'm kind of over, to be honest, I used to love Orgasm Blush, and I actually went through a whole Orgasm Blush, but I don't want to repurchase it. A highlighting blush and also the shade Orgasm. So these shades just don't appeal to me, which is why I am not picking that particular palette up. And the next thing on here is the Sephora Collection Pro Smoky Jewels Palette. Now I actually bought two of the three original palettes that they launched last year and they were okay but I couldn't justify keeping them for that price tag and so I actually ended up returning those palettes and so because I learned my lesson the first time I'm not actually picking up any of these Sephora collection palettes. Um, the Dyson Special Edition Supersonic Gift Set. This is the Dyson hair dryer. It is a very tempting because I like Dyson products. We have a Dyson fan and a Dyson vacuum and those work really well, but I don't think I could justify to my husband buying a $400 blow dryer. I have the one from the dry bar and that works fine. I also try to let my hair air dry when I have the opportunity. So yeah, I won't be buying that. Uh, the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Diamond Bomb All Over Diamond Veil Highlighter. I really want this highlighter, but something is telling me, no, I don't think it's going to work on my skin tone. I saw my friend Nethmi use it in this highlighter, and it looked really pretty on her. But I just feel like I'm going to get it and be really disappointed. So, so far, I haven't purchased it. The Urban Decay Naked Cherry Eyeshadow Palette. I am tempted to buy this just because I can get it for 20% off, but I know as soon as I get it, I'm going to instantly regret having put the money towards it, so I'm not going to buy it, and I'm okay with it. I bought the Naked Heat palette, I didn't think it was that great, and I returned it. I feel like the Urban Decay uh, Naked palettes, I'm just past that point right now in my life. I've moved on to like Pat McGrath and stuff. Nothing wrong with the Urban Decay palettes. I just, I've bought so many palettes recently. I don't need to just keep buying stuff for the sake of buying it. The Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. I actually bought the set last year 
and I still haven't even made a dent in one bottle, so I don't need to replace anything. I personally don't see this prolonging my makeup wear by any means, so I would not recommend you purchasing it. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Soul Treat Eyeshadow Palette. This is limited edition and $45. Now this is their holiday palette, I believe. And I actually did buy this when it launched on Anastasia's website and I actually ended up returning it because um, the shades were just not my cup of tea. I thought the shimmers were beautiful, but I didn't think the matte pairings made a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, Pat McGrath Labs Mothership Sublime Bronze Temptation Eyeshadow Palette, limited edition and $55. It's actually the eyeshadow palette I am wearing on my eyes today. I have some videos that I filmed with this palette coming up, so stay tuned. But you guys, these mini palettes are really nice. I've only worn two of the three on my eyes so far, and so far I've really, really enjoyed. So yeah, if you guys want to pick it up on a sale, now is the time to do that. Kat Von D. Liner X. I did see Sephora do a live on this eyeliner. Personally, I have a few other liquid liners I'm much more a fan of, so I won't be buying this. The Sephora Favorites Holiday Perfume Sampler. I actually got one of these as a gift uh, last Christmas, and I haven't even walked into Sephora yet and redeemed it. I know a lot of people love to say it's like a really nice gift and... I think it definitely is. I just, like, from my experience, I have not gone into Sephora to redeem it. Hopefully there's not an expiration on that coupon to claim a full size because if there is, I, I'm probably going to miss it. <laughs> okay, the Too Faced Peaches and Dreams face set for $52. This comes with the Peaches palette as well as the face palette and then one of those, like, oils, lip oils, I believe. And I would not recommend this. I don't like the shades in the peach palette. I know some people really enjoy that particular Too Faced palette. It's not my cup of tea by any means. So I'm not interested in that. Sephora favorites, Soko to Tokyo. Um, I believe this is just a Japanese skincare favorites box. And looks fun. I haven't bought a Sephora favorites set in a long time, I just don't like sample sizes of things. Like, I get so many samples just from my Sephora orders that I, I just don't want to buy anymore. Okay, Velvet Matte Lipstick Pencil Vault from Vault, Vault from NARS for $150. I don't like this formula enough to spend any money on it, so I will be passing on that. Uh, Sephora Collection Pro Essential Brush Set, Rose Gold Edition for $175. Honestly, Sephora makes some amazing brushes. They aren't cruelty free, so I know a lot of people have issue with that, so I just want to let you know about that. But I think this would be an amazing brush set for anyone that wants to invest in some good brushes. I have a few brushes from them, and I really enjoy. Okay, so Becca Glow Kitchen Kit from Becca and Chrissy Teigen. I passed. <laughs> Fresh Best Rosebuds. I think this is a nice deal. You get the fresh rose toner as well as the cream, like the face moisturizer. And I think that's awesome because you get to try both of these products. I've used both of these in the past. I'm trying to stay away from this rose toner because I didn't think it was that great. I mean, like I didn't I didn't think it did anything magical on my face, but I know it like blew up because Jeffree Star talked about it like last year sometime. And I've seen quite a few influencers actually receive it in PR, so I've seen a lot of people talk about it, but it's not something I would recommend like you run out and get. But if you're interested, $63, $63 is a good price for both of those products. Jouer Cosmetics Rose Gold Collection Set. Looks like there is a lip topper and some things. I don't know. I used to really be into Joy, but I'm not anymore, so I'm not picking anything up from that. Yeah. Astrology by Bite, limited edition color um, for this month uh, is out. I'm not really into traditional lipsticks anymore, so I don't need that. One of the bloggers I follow talk about this Beauty Bio Blush Glitter Glow Pro Facial Regener Regeneration Tool for $199. I wasn't really comprehending what it actually does, and I've not really heard a lot of people talk about this brand, Beauty Bio. She seemed to really enjoy it. She's got beautiful skin, but I'm not buying this. Okay, so, um, dry bar set. I like that hair dryer, like I said. 
I did try that tool that looks like the brush. What is that thing called? Brush Crush Heated Straightening Brush. I tried it because I was so curious. I think if you have fine hair, it might work well for you, but honestly, it isn't a replacement for a straightener. I feel like it's just extra work and I'm not really interested in that. Um, the Violet Voss, the little mini eyeshadow palettes are now available on Sephora.com so you can pick them up for 20% off because you guys know I'm such an eyeshadow palette junkie. But I swear nothing about these eyeshadow palettes appeal to me. So I'm just passing on the whole collection because I really don't need any of those eyeshadow palettes. Um, same for the Libertine eyeshadow palette by Viseart that's now available on Sephora's website and I can pick it up with the sale but I don't want to. Stila has a liquid eyeshadow vault all eyes on you for $195. I was looking at it this morning and I was like that's got to be a joke because why would you ever want to spend $195 on glitter and glows? Granted it's a great concept but I feel like if you have one or two that is more than enough don't feel like you need a vault. Don't feel like you need to have like 10 types of glitter to do an eye look. I have four of them and I haven't used them in forever. So it's just, it's kind of one of those things where they capitalize on your love for a product and I don't think you should do it. Um, there is a Sunday Riley Ultimate Vault Collection, $385. Huge fan of Sunday Riley, but honestly, you guys, it's going to be very few people that can use all of these skin products with the type of skin they have. So keep that in mind. Even though it's a great deal, it doesn't mean that the Juno oil is going to work on somebody that needs the Luna oil and like vice versa. I mean, I have all the oils and I use them, you know, at different times, but I don't know. I just, I, I get that skincare sets are really good value. But I also feel like it's kind of odd. I feel like they try to bundle it and give you this good deal, but sometimes then you end up buying products you don't necessarily need. Um, um, Sephora Collection has a Once Upon a Night Blockbuster limited edition, $49. It literally looks like a bug. Like I think Georgia Harris talked about that in one of our videos. And it's just like a weird eyeshadow palette. I can see like somebody really new to makeup being really into something like that. Or if you're on a budget, you're like, Oh my gosh, look at all this product I can get for 50 bucks, but I don't know, it's really not for me. Charlotte Tilbury, Stars in Your Eyes, eyeshadow palette for $75. Really not into that color scheme, and I don't really think Charlotte Tilbury products are made for deeper skin tones, so I'm passing on that. I really, 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 really want the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4 by Hourglass, but I'm not going to buy it because I have two of their previous palettes. Now, if you've never tried it and you're curious to try it, honestly, I would say get it, especially if you can get it for 20% off because it's a great deal, and they make amazing powder products. Four of the five Huda Obsession palettes. I bought Amethyst, I bought Ruby, I bought Sapphire, and I bought Emerald. I haven't really reviewed the palettes on my channel. I briefly talked about them in a review roundup video, and I do like them. I wouldn't say you need all of them. I would just say get one or two of your favorite shades. And if you like all the shades, then get them all. Like, I'm not, you know, the boss of you. Um, so the Natasha Denona Gold Eyeshadow Palette, honestly, I never thought I would actually have anything good to say about Natasha Denona, but I actually really like that eyeshadow palette. So I'm very excited that I have it, and I think if you can get it on a sale, even better. Huda Beauty Overachiever Height. Coverage concealer. I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about it. I feel like I like it, but then some days I'm like, is this coverage like really that high coverage? Like sometimes I feel like it fades faster than other days. So I'm still like very undecided on my thoughts on that concealer. Uh, Beauty Blender Sweet Indulgence Set. I picked this up a long, long time ago, but I haven't broken into it yet. It's so weird. I'm such a weirdo. Like I'm like holding on to it. Like I'm semi hoarding it for some reason because I'm like, Oh, but like, I don't know, like maybe I should just, you know, wait before I use it. Like, you know, I don't want to waste it. Like I always think of like waste. I'm actually like looking around my room right now because I don't even know where I put it. Like, Moving on, uh, Herbivore Rosewater Hydration, Hydration Trio. Honestly, I don't really like the band Herbivore. I like the brand Youth of the People a lot more than Herbivore, in case any of you care. I bought some of their products on their website when they had a sale, 
and I just didn't think they were that great. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick. Everyone talks about the shade Pillow Top. I wanted to buy one just so I could have one, but honestly, I know myself. I'm never going to use it, so I'm going to pass on it. Uh, Too Faced Gingerbread Spice Eyeshadow Palette. It's a good palette, but some of the palettes I've already talked about in this video are so much better. So I would honestly skip the Too Faced and go for a Natasha Denona or a Pat McGrath, to be very honest. I really want to try the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder for $45, but I have so many powders, and so I'm like trying to tell myself, like, no girl, you don't need it. Jo Malone London Cologne Collection, this is $115, and you get five little sample sizes. And I honestly have not met a Jo Malone per cologne that I'm a huge fan of, so I really can't imagine spending $115 on that. Um, there is a YSL Rouge Per Couture Slim Matte Lipstick. I saw Coffee Break with Danny talk about these, and she said they're like amazing, but then she kind of went on to say like how it's a square bullet. Well, I guess it's not a bullet. It's a square shaped. And she said it's very hard to apply, and I'm like, why would anyone buy that then? So the NARS Hot Trist Cheek Palette for $59. This one, Mel Thompson really sold it to me. I didn't probably need it, but I kind of wanted it after I saw her video, and I'm actually wearing one of the shades on my cheeks today. So yeah, I don't know. It's it's a nice palette, but I don't know if the it, it's a big chalet, so you need a specific kind of brush to like pick up the pigmentation, you know? Um, for Solly Skin Tune Blur Perfecting Primer Serum for $54. I bought, I think they're unicorn drops, and I didn't think they were that exciting, so I won't be trying for Solly for a while. And then there is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector set, the little macaroon set. I am not really interested in any of those particular shades that they put in that little kit. For $40 so I'm gonna be passing on that as well okay guys so that was everything that is on the just arrived page at Sephora currently and I just thought this would be helpful um, kind of like if we were walking through Sephora and picking makeup out just like Elle had said I, I basically just quoted her so I want to make sure I give her credit but I just thought it was a cool idea to just go through the just arrives page especially with the sales happening this weekend and the next weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see more, go ahead and watch Elle's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.